Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Houdini Lightstring and Houdini Wrapper Digital Assets. So here is a simple sim file. As you can see, there is a curve node here, and the type is NURBS. And I attached a resemble node to have a polygon curve and also to have some points along this curve. So let's add the the light string digital asset and the first input should be connected to the to a curve and to your path for generating the light strings so let's connect it and let's see the result the first thing that you should know is that the final result and the final output is highly depends on the number of points and the resolution of the input curves so let's increase the segments maybe to 300 and you can see we will get more lights and also we will get more twist along this curve so these lights are the default lights for this digital asset you can use your own geometry and your own uh, lights to connect it to this curve so you have to connect your geometry to the second input so in this case I'm going to use a null which is nothing and also you have to enable the use input lamp option as you can see here the only thing that we have here is these connections and these lamp holders and you can adjust the length of these holders by this parameter connection length so let's zero this parameter so as you can see now we have a shape like a rope and uh, we have simple shape without any light or geometry the first parameter is the count actually it is the number of the wires that can twist around each other so in this case you can increase it or decrease the number of the wires so let's keep it at five so, and the next parameter is count seat you can randomize the position of these five wires related to each other so in some cases you can get very interesting results as you can see in this case there is a core and there are four wires twist around around the core okay and oops let's keep it five let's keep five wires and the next parameter is a string separation you can decrease or increase the distance of the wires related to each other so if I increase this parameter as you can see you can increase the distance between the wires and the next parameter is twist magnitude let's use uh, use the default value for the separation parameter and this parameter is self-explanatory and as you can see if I increase this parameter you will get more twist along this curve so let's put it back to its default value and there is a ramp here you can control the ramp with the help of this parameter expansion magnitude and the final value is the magnitude multiplied by the value of each point along this ramp so here if I choose a number like 0.2 you can see we have 0 separation for the wire in this area and it increases toward the end of the curve so you can control the amount of the separation along this curve and the good thing is that this parameter you can use them and animate them to create cool effects okay 
So let's use the default values. The next parameter is connection links. We saw how it works. So let's skip it to the next parameter, which is wire width. And also it is self-explanatory. It is the width of the each wires. So you can decrease or increase it. And the next parameter is randomize. So let's use the default lights and let's increase the connection lengths. If you enable this option, this digital asset tries to distribute the lights randomly along this curve, but if you disable this option you can choose the distance between two continuous lines and it tries to give you a uniform look for the lights so in this case let's increase it and as you can see we have much more uniform lights along this curve okay let's enable the randomize and these two parameters seed and frequency the seed is to randomize the position of the lights along this curve and the frequency is the number of the lights and how frequently you can see the lights along this curve so if I decrease this number you will get the lower number of the lights along this curve and if you want you can increase it to get more lights along this curve okay and if you disable this option, use the input lamp, this digital asset will use the default lamps and you can control the size and the position of the light locally using these two options. And the next parameter is use the mask option. You have to connect your mask to this third input of this digital asset. In this case, it is a simple sphere so let's move it for example to here okay to have some intersection between the sphere and the geometry and if I enable this option as you can see you will get no light in this area and yes you can move it and see the result. So let's disable this option. The next option is no geo. If you enable this option, this digital asset will give you only the curves and you can use it uh, as the base for your own modeling and you can model these wires maybe by adding a holy wire node. Okay, and maybe increase it and decrease the radius of the wires. Okay, and let me use the input lamp and let's zero the connection links. And the next parameter is use the rotation ramp. If you enable this option, same as before, the value, the final value is the result of rotation magnitude multiplied by the value of these points along this ramp. So here in this case, let's increase the magnitude to a value like 30. And as you can see, the value of the twist increases from this point from 0 to 1 multiplied by 30 which gives you 30. If I use another point here and let me set the value to 1 as you can see here the rotation value increases to this point like this and from this point to this point the magnitude of the rotation is constant so you will get constant wire and constant result like 
this and in this case it starts to decrease from this point to this point so you will get the twist from 30 to 0 in this part okay the next parameter is wire control if you enable this option you will have control over each separate wires and you can add some extra details to your wires and for example here you can increase or decrease the number of the sides for the wires or, or you can twist them and this parameter is the twist value for each separate wire so and this parameter controls the UV along each wires and for example here you can add some extra detail for each wire of course you can create an expression to select some groups and do some operations on these groups so for example here let's add a poly extrude node and maybe let's create some indentation like this and maybe add a subdivide node to add extra detail to your wires okay and let's disable this option the next digital asset is wrapper and it has two inputs the first input is the wire and the curve and the second input is the collision geometry so in this case I have a curve here and it is very important to have uh, to have normal attributes for the points and as you can see in this case using this point node the normals are pointing toward the center so I can connect it to the first input and the second input to the collision geometry okay let's add a merge node and merge the result with the collision geometry and let's add a poly wire node and finally let's add a facet to have a correct normals okay so let's copy the width parameter and let's paste it here as the relative reference okay as you can see it's a very simple example and what you can do is increase the divisions to have a better result and also it is a good idea to have a lower number for the width okay and now let's for example add a copy stamp node Um, let's create 10 circles and let's increase the scale and maybe rotate it randomly I don't know maybe 60 here and let's connect it to the digital asset and let's see the result as you can see here in this case we have 500 points around 500 points so here is the final result as you can see you have a shape like uh, like when you use ray ray node it's it's good idea to always have a preview using the ray node to see what is 
what it will be look like after this digital as after using this digital asset and then you can use this digital asset to fix the overlaps for the points for the curves okay it's not bad and what I usually do here is to add a convert node to convert the curves to the nerves curve and then add a resample node to resample the points along the curve so let's use for example 1000 points to have very smooth results and very smooth curves it's good not bad at all and the problem is here you can see this wire goes inside this sphere and that's because here these curves and and these circles are not continuous there are 10 separate curves and 10 separate circle and 10 separate curves so here in this option we have to disable the continuous let's see okay and as you can see now we have correct results and of course you can increase the division of the curve to get more accurate and more precise results but in this case as you can see we have pretty good results and if you increase the divisions of the the divisions of the circle you will have longer computation time for this digital asset for example let's add 100 and as you can see in this case we have about 1000 points and it takes about 10, sec 10 seconds okay and as you can see we have much accurate result but it takes longer than before and as you can see here we have some problems here and that's because the number of points along the curves is too much that decreases the distance between two continuous points and because we have a higher value for the width this curve and this line folds on itself so what you can do is decrease the number of points or you can decrease the width for example let's choose 0.01 and let's use the same value for the width and now you can see we have the correct result okay that's all for these two digital assets and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you create very interesting geometry and the shapes and I hope to see you in the next video